As um, you mentioned, thank you. I worked for 15 years for the CBS affiliate in Milwaukee. Actually, I worked for about a year for the CBS in Chicago as a writer, what they call a per diem writer. But I was on air as a reporter for the CBS affiliate in Milwaukee for 15 years. From the inside, this home looks just as inviting and comfortable as any other home in the Chicago suburb where it was built. But it's not like most other homes because it was created out of shipping containers, which are cheap and plentiful. The quick process to deconstruct, move, and build these structures again is fueling the drive to find unique uses for shipping containers. Every day may seem like an adventure, but it's not all fun and games. That's because the life of a working mom often includes juggling kids and career and husband and house and friends and more. Amazon may be easy and safe for online shoppers, but it's a growing threat to workers, according to a new report from the Institute for Local Self-Reliance. Web and Travel estimates about 67,000 businesses in the U.S. offer tours and activities for vacationers, like biking. Most operators are small and local and depend on word of mouth and online reviews to keep profits rolling along. Finding and placing tech workers is a $17 billion industry, which has been boosted by the H-1B visa. The program, put on hold by President Trump, allowed U.S. employers to fill certain specialty jobs, like information technology, with foreign workers for up to six years or longer if they applied for permanent residency. Technology experts say in just four years, 20 billion devices will have sensors in them, collecting and analyzing data that generates an action, like a driverless car sent to pick up a nearby commuter. They say some local governments may ban such cars, while others may have a fleet of them to replace public buses. For your own is not a new concept, but Red Arrow Tap Room has put a fresh, high-tech twist on it. Entrepreneurs say mentors aren't just essential for getting a business off the ground, but they're also critical for allowing the business to grow. And that's why Mary says she's joined a national coaching group to take her business to the next level. Diane Mocha for Business First AM. Those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We'd live the life we choose, we'd fight.